Yeah, hello, internet. Halloween isn't really a big thing here in New Zealand, but I've got a friend who loves witches and skeletons and all things spooky, so I thought I'd make her a little Halloween present. <laughs> where I got this fat quarter bundle of Halloween fabrics or why I bought it but it's been sitting in my stash for a long time waiting for the right project and this is definitely the right project. I don't have a lot of time to make this quilt so if I was sensible I'd do something very quick and simple just basic squares or rectangles but I've also got this nice drunkard's path template that I've also had sitting here for about a year or so without opening it and it's also waiting for the right project. So I think this might be a good project to use it for because those big quarter circles are going to be a great way to show off the Halloween fabrics. Templates have holes where you can make registration marks, but after I tried that a bit, I found it was just easier to just fold my curves into fours and press them so that I got marks at the quarter, half and three quarter points. I tried a few different layouts but I think I'm just going to go with nice big circles because that's going to let me have the most fun with the quilting but it feels like it's a bit too small I want it to be kind of lap quilt sized so I am going to add a border this purple fabric is from a different line but I think it works really well with them so I'll use that for an inner border there were loads of large scraps left over from the fat quarters so I'm going to make a nice chunky piano key border from them because this is a spooky Halloween quilt, of course I'm going to use those circles to make huge spider webs. I think that looks really good. I made a little bit too much of the piano key border, so I used the rest on the back. You can kind of tell from the quilting that I didn't quite manage to line up the backing in the top, but it still looks good. The spider webs look so good from the back. I think those spider webs were a little bit too convincing because while I was quilting this quilt a giant spider crawled out from the folds of it and it was a white tail which have a pretty nasty bite so you will not believe how quickly I got the quilt off the machine and outside to shake it out so you get rid of the spiders so I hope there's no spiders in it now don't tell me if there's one behind me. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed my little Halloween quilt. Don't forget to do all those nice internet -y things like liking and subscribing and leave a comment. And I will see you next time. Kakite anō, internet. Mm -hmm.